Thank you for your interest in a Campbell Hausfeld air compressor. This video is designed to help you set up and use the following oil lubricated Campbell Hausfeld air compressors. Portable oil lubricated air compressors. Portable horizontal compressor. Portable vertical compressor. Stationary oil lubricated compressor. Stationary compressor. Be sure to refer to the owner's manual for safety information and detailed setup instructions. The benefits of cast iron air compressors. Great for your auto maintenance and auto restoration jobs. Cast iron compressors are ideal for a variety of projects ranging from home and auto maintenance to auto restoration. These long life compressor pumps can power a wide range of air tools ranging from spray guns and impact wrenches to ratchets and grinders. You want to be sure to check the air requirement for the tool you plan to use to make sure the compressor can power that type of tool effectively. Benefits of the cast iron pump design. Cast iron pumps last up to 10 times longer. Rugged drivetrain for years of reliable service. Ductile iron crankshaft. Two automotive style pistons. Heavy duty ball bearings. Advanced design valve plate for trouble free performance. Stainless steel reed valves. High performance o ring seals. Deep finned aluminum head for maximum cooling. Sight glass for easy oil level check. Portable compressors. Assembly. Unpack the compressor by removing all packaging. Once you have unpacked the compressor, Inspect each part carefully. Make sure all parts are included in the bag provided. These units do require some assembly. Handle assembly. If pre-installed, remove the handle screw from the tank base plate. Squeeze handle to fit into special openings and insert handle into both sides of tank base plate. Place a short piece of wood against the end of the handle. Tap with a mallet or hammer until the hole in the handle lines up with the hole in the base plate. Insert and tighten the handle screw in the base plate. Make sure the screw goes through the handle. Wheel assembly. Insert shoulder bolt through wheel hub with the bolt head on the opposite side of the protruding hub section. For the 8 inch diameter wheels, insert the shoulder bolt in the lowest hole of the tank axle iron. Tightly secure with lock nut. For 10 inch diameter wheels, insert the shoulder bolt in the upper hole of the tank axle iron. Tightly secure with lock nut. When assembled, the tank must sit level or slope slightly toward the tank drain valve to allow the tank to drain properly. Foot assembly. Using a 2x4 to elevate the unit, secure the two feet properly to ensure the unit does not tip over. Insert bolt through foot and bracket. The foot should be on the lower side of the bracket. Tightly secure with the lock nut. Repeat on the opposite side. Handle assembly. It is helpful to use a ratchet and 3 8 inch socket set to install the handle. Remove the handle from the protective sleeve. Insert four handle screws through holes in handle and tighten to tank base plate. Wheel assembly. Use a 2x4 to elevate the unit. Insert shoulder bolt through the wheel hub. The bolt head should be on the opposite side of the protruding hub center. Feed the shoulder bolt through the hole in the tank axle iron and tightly secure with the lock nut. Repeat on the opposite side. Stationary air compressor mounting. Install the compressor in a clean, well ventilated area where the surrounding air temperature will not exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the compressor from the shipping pallet. The wood shipping skid should not be used for mounting the compressor. Vibration isolators must be used when installing the compressor. Position the compressor in the desired location with a minimum clearance of 18 inches between the compressor flywheel and the wall. Make sure the drain valve on the bottom of the tank is accessible so condensate can be drained from the tank. Mark the tank leg mounting hole locations on the concrete floor and drill appropriate size holes for the anchors to be used. A 3 8 by 5 inch long concrete anchor is recommended. Reposition the compressor over the anchor holes. Use vibration isolators between tank leg and the floor. Install the anchors but do not draw the bolts tight. Allow the pads to absorb vibration. A flexible coupling should be installed between the tank and service piping. Do not locate the compressor air inlet near steam, paint spray, sandblast areas, or any other source of contamination. 